Hi folks, Don Bailey. You've heard about magnetic chucks, you've heard about vices. This is an alternate method of holding. This happens to be one of our vacuum chucks, of which we have uh, several. We have a 6 inch, a 6x12, 6x6, 6x18. This happens to be a 6x12. Features of this chuck are as follows. It comes with the gauge, comes with a release valve. It has a series of holes in it, but it also has hardened rails on the backstop and on the side. The surface of this chuck itself is soft, so if you had to drill into it for whatever reason, either accidentally or intentionally, you could. It's not going to ruin your, uh, your drill, unless of course you hit the screws, which would not be a good thing to do. What's the function of this chuck? Well, the function of it is to hold non-ferrous materials. What are non-ferrous materials? Anything like brass, copper, stainless steel, plastic. So all of these materials can be held uh, via this chuck. What else do we need? Well, we need a pump. What kind of a pump? Well, we need a vacuum pump. And we have a vacuum pump that we offer. We have it both in uh, uh, quarter horsepower and three quarter horsepower. And you can check the specs on our website to see exactly what they are. But it'll give you roughly 27, 28 inches of vacuum, which will give you about 10 PSI, depending on the product, depending on how you're holding it and so forth, uh, and how flat the product is. Because it's pretty important when you're using a, a vacuum chuck that the surface that you're, or the mating surface that's going to go on there is, in fact, flat. What do we do if we put it on here, let's say, let's say we're going to machine this part and we put it on here, well, you're going to want to know what do you do about all these holes there. Simple answer. Masking tape for one or you can take pieces of sheet rubber and put it over it and so forth. One of the questions might be, well, what happens if you get water in there? Well, there's quite a chamber in here that will hold a lot of water before it gets to the pump. But even if it were to get to the pump, that's what we have uh, the, the catch basin here for. That's what this is going to do. This is a filter that will filter out the water to prevent it from getting into the vacuum uh, pump, uh, which could effectively uh, ruin the pump. But there's also filters built into the back side of the vacuum uh, pump to help filter out uh, media, uh, and there's a chamber in there which will also help to hold uh, water. So there's plenty of ways to protect it. That's one of the filters that goes in the back of the uh, vacuum pump. So this, uh, again, this item is designed to hold uh, primarily thin materials as well. Uh, there are other ways. If you had a thick material that was non-ferrous, well, how would you hold it? Probably a vise. What would your thought be, Glenn? Um, a vise, but I know it's not hands. Oh, that's true. Well, it could be hands, but it wouldn't be a good idea, yeah. right? Really strong. Well, well, unless you want want to lose some fingers too, that's another thing. But anyway, so there's lots of ways to hold parts. This is just an alternate method. Uh, I would recommend that you take a look at the not just the features but the specifications uh, on our website. Look at our catalog, and our website is subtool.com. You'll find our catalog there. You can go to the vacuum uh, chucks, and we also offer these in specials. So if you need when it's a strange size, let's say uh, 18 by 22, uh, we can do that as well. In fact, we've done a lot of them before. So anyway, th those are the features of our chuck, and uh, hope this was informative for you. And again, check us out on subtool.com, and we'll see you the next time around. Thanks for watching.